I'm going to review my Hermes Venus necklace in terms of pro comps, wear, price, everything you need to know, and I will tell you a trick how to save six thousand dollars. I'll also tell you if I think the necklace worth it in the end of the video. Leave me a comment to let me know if you have any additional questions. Let's get right into the video. My Hermes Venus necklace is in the 18k rose gold set with diamonds and snap closure. The design is the signature. Hermes motif. The motif size is 0.58 and 0.4. The necklace is adjustable with two lengths. The shorter length is 15.35 inches and the longer length is about 16.14 inches. The necklace is set with 17 diamonds and the total carat weights here is 0.46 carat. My Venus necklace diamond is VVS and the color is from F to G. For those of you who are curious what kind of diamonds Hermes use. The back of the pendant does have Hermes and also the serial number of this piece. My Hermes Venus necklace is also available in the white gold version and also the black gemstone version as well. All Hermes fine jewelry pieces comes in our orange box outside like this and the inside and you can open it up. It has a nicer black box. It said Hermes here and if you open it up, it also said Hermes 24 Fubu Saint Honne Paris. This is the black box and this is the box that used to display this necklace and then you can open it up. Here is just empty. It also has this diamond and precious metal certificate which shows you the serial number of your piece and the number of diamonds, carats, purchase date and stamp from the store. The serial number also matches the serial number in the back of your necklace. I just feel VCA and the Cartier have nicer packaging than Hermes's fine jewelry and I definitely think that they can use some work on their packaging just to make the luxury purchase more pleasant. What do you think? So I have had my necklace for a year and two months, so basically 14 months. I actually wear it really, really often, at least a couple of times a week. You can also tell from I'm wearing in all my videos as well because that's how much I wear it. I never sleep with it or shower with it but I do wear it for all these other activities like a walking, going outside or gym or any other normal activities. During the past 14 months, I never needed to clean the diamond because it's still so shiny. The chain and the snap closure rose gold part just have some natural body oil from me wearing it but honestly you can't really tell any wear and tear. It still looks really really new. You know how you usually bracelets scratches and show some wears but this one I think it doesn't in contact with any other stuff so it doesn't really show wear which I really really like. A lot of you ask me how to decide between rose gold and a white gold and I actually tried it on in person with both of them on together at the same time. I think the white gold looks slightly or just tiny a little bit more shinier than the rose gold because of the white gold color. I definitely liked how a bit more feminine and a bit more subtle the rose gold version looks compared to the white gold version. Plus I am more of a rose gold person than a white gold person so I decided to go with the rose gold. Sometimes you just have to go with your gut feeling and what you like. Another thing is not a deciding factor but the white gold version is a few hundred dollars more expensive than the rose gold version. Let's talk about their prices. So the rose gold Venus necklace is currently retail for $5,400 and the same Venus necklace is currently retail for $5,800 which is $400 more expensive than the rose gold. The black gemstone version is currently retail for $3,375 which is more than $1,000 cheaper than the rose gold version. If your budget doesn't allow the rose gold or the white gold version and I I think the black gemstone version is an, something that you can totally consider if you like the design. I also do want to mention the old price when I purchased it 14 months ago. The old retail price for the Venus necklace was $4,870 pre-tax. So the price has increased about 
$525 during the past 14 months. Talking about the pros, the first pro has to be the design. I really love the classic and elegant motif design. It's so beautiful and understated. It doesn't scream Hermes or designer, but anyone knows Hermes, see this necklace, knows immediately it's from Hermes. Regardless of the brand, the necklace itself just looks so stunning with these diamonds. I do see myself wearing it for many decades to come. The other thing that I really like about this necklace is that if you don't wear it during shower or when you're sleeping I feel that this necklace doesn't show anywhere like I really really like the other pro is that this piece is also such a great layering piece I like the fact that that it goes with so many different necklaces besides wearing it for fun it's also work appropriate as well the other pro is that I have worn it so often so frequent in the past 14 months so the cost per wear continues to go down. That definitely makes me feel better. Other benefits of the necklace is of course because of the fact that, that it's a fine jewelry piece, it helps you to speed up your spending history to help you to get a quota back to some degree. Also, instead of the hassle having to figure out other five, six thousand dollars items that you need to purchase, you can just get one fine jewelry piece that you love. The last pro is also the pro that will allow you to save the $6,000. Let me show you. I have a really thin wrist and I can wear this necklace as a bracelet after wrapping around my wrist for three times. How awesome is that? The Venus bracelet with one motif diamond and a slightly bigger motif is $6,000. $500. So you get it, right? You just saved $6,500 for buying another bracelet if you buy the necklace instead. You're very welcome. Talking about the cons, the first con you already know that I was hoping that Hermes will have nicer packaging come with some travel pouch, cleaning kit, stuff like that to make the experience more nicer. The next con is very obviously is the price of the necklace because after tax is almost six thousand dollars the next con comes with the pro because it does help you to get a bag to some degree but then at the same time because it's a Hermes fine jewelry piece and in general Hermes fine jewelry resell very badly in the secondhand market and you most likely need to take a huge discount for example like this piece if you resell likely you're gonna have to take 50% off when you try to resell this necklace. So it's better that you enjoy it and wear it yourself instead of trying to sell it. The next con is that you know how this necklace compared to all the other necklaces that I have? I'm actually wearing the longest setting here. The longest length, it can only look like this. If your neck is a little bit wider than mine, then the necklace will even sit higher. I have a workaround for you. You know how a lot of places are selling those necklace extender? I'll put a link down below if you are interested in getting a necklace extender so that you can have the necklace dangling lower. Do I think the necklace worth it? i be honest with you. This necklace, it was a piece that actually I love it from the bottom of my heart from very very beginning. It does contribute to my Hermes spending history to help me to get bags as well. I don't really planning to resell this necklace. I definitely can see myself wearing this necklace for a very long time. The versatility also allowed me to wear this necklace as a bracelet which made the bracelet more worthwhile. The fact that, that I can list out so many more pros versus cons, you can tell that I definitely think that this necklace is really worthwhile and I love it from the bottom of my heart and if you ask me if I recommend it, I highly recommend it. What do you think? Leave me a comment down below to let me know and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!